Okay. You're actually this side. That's not your class, is it? No. All right. Uh, so right away they start talking about energy and well, and then momentum shortly afterwards. But they start talking about it, and they don't even tell you what any of this stuff means. So we better know what this stuff means first. You have to speak real loud. Yeah, I can hear they're being awful nice over there, aren't they? Oh, they have their little break, don't they? Okay. Uh, the. Uh, First thing you need to know, well, what's a meter? A meter? Yeah. Let's go back. What is a meter? It's a tool device to It's a unit of length, length, right? Length. Okay. <laughs> and if I go one meter in X amount of time, or T amount of time, let's say, what does that indicate to you? Not much. Doesn't it indicate much. Well, what would that What would that mean? If I If I said I'm I'm moving along at three meters per second, what does that tell you? Means in every three meters, three meters per meters. second. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fast. <laughs> every second you're gonna. That go means I'm meters. running at a full tilt if I'm moving three meters per second. <laughs> yep. But what does that tell you? Means you're going Tell us so fast. So if I say I'm moving a half a meter per second. You're walking. I'm walking. So what did that indicate to you? It told you speed. what about what I was doing? Yeah, it told you my speed. Now, if I say I am walking at a half a meter per second north, now what did I tell you? And so what additional piece of information did I give you? Where are you going? Yes, so I gave you my speed and my direction. Direction. Okay. And so they start talking about energy and they say energy, the amount of, of kinetic energy in something. We'll get to the definition of what kinetic energy is in a second. E kinetic equals one half m v squared. Well, do you know what v means? You didn't until I just explained it to you, right? Velocity. It means velocity. That's what it means. But what does it indicate? It speed. indicates both speed and direction. So it tells you how far and how much time I went and in what direction I went. Okay, so that's velocity. So if you don't understand what the terms are in energy, you don't understand what energy is. Second point, what is M? Mass. And what is mass? The amount of matter in an object. Right, and how is that different from weight? Uh, weight changes depending on the gravity. Okay. So what is weight? What is weight? Remember what weight is? We covered this. It's mass times what? Times gravity. Right. What, what, what is gravity? See, normally I wouldn't. I, I, I don't like that they start with energy because there's so much background stuff that would be useful to know. We should have started with 13, but the way they formatted the lesson it didn't work out very well through that. So making us look at what that means. So gravity is a form of acceleration, right? Uh -huh. kinematics. Right. So weight is a force which is mass times the acceleration due to gravity. But mass doesn't need anything, it's just L. It's just the stuff you have. Just how much stuff you have. You must remember that. Okay, so now you know what those two terms mean. What is energy then? Energy. 
What is energy? Can you tell me what energy is? Energy is... Any idea? No clue? Mass, velocity, you can kind of get a handle on what those are. Energy is very abstract. You can't say, oh, I went to the store and picked up a half a gallon of energy. <laughs> no, you can't do that. It's not, it's not tangible. And so we describe energy in a different way. It's how much energy is how much work you can do with something. So different things contain energy, but they're, well, well, we'll get to that in a second, but <laughs> for now, things contain, have energy in two different ways. They have potential energy or kinetic energy. Well, I know the difference between those two. You know the difference between those two? Some. What is the difference between those two? Kinetic energy is energy in motion and... Potential energy is stored energy. It's stored energy. So a, 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 a 9 volt battery has stored energy in it. Right? Mm -hmm. How about does this have kinetic or potential energy? Mostly potential. Once you drop it. Once you drop it, it has kinetic energy. Yes. That's kinetic energy. Potential energy. Nothing's going on. It's just stored. Yeah. And so when I raise this up, I'm moving against gravity, right? Yeah. So I did a certain amount of work. So I use energy, kinetic energy, to raise it up. And then gravity did the exact same amount of it of work to bring it back down. Gravity is a hard working thing. Everything that falls down. <laughs> So, now we can rewrite this down. And by the way, where did this formula come from? Uh, some great scientist. <laughs> yes, and where did he get the formula from? Uh, observation. Watching stuff? <laughs> yes, he said, he didn't, he didn't uh, get it from some other equation. He looked at... Uh, Energy, both potential and kinetic energy, have joule units. So named after Mr. Joule. Uh -huh. <laughs> Was he a shiny guy? Huh? <laughs> Was he a shiny guy? <laughs> no, no. The units are named after him, not the other way around. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. Joule as in... Yeah. Yeah, not that kind of <laughs> That's how it's spelled. Not, not jewel, jewel. E <laughs> yeah. Okay, and what are jewels? Um, before I write down the other. That is energy. So we explained this before. Yeah, I remember. That's equals one kilogram sure. meters squared per second. Yes, it's kg kilograms. The mass makes sense, right? This has kgs on it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what about velocity? What are the units on velocity? What's the units on speed? Meters per second. Meters per second. So these are SI units. We can convert them to any other units we want. You know what SI units are? Uh, systematic. 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 System International, right? Yeah, we had them earlier. Right, yeah. we had them. That's why I asked you. What are, what are they? So this is this is the science scientists use these type of units so that they all know that we're going to use these units. They all just got together and said, okay, let's use these units. But we can convert them to English units or whatever else we might want to convert them to. They they're usually easier to keep in that <laughs> situation. Okay. So what about potential energy? Is there a velocity in potential energy? Not usually. Is something moving? If something has a potential energy. No. It's not moving. Well, I mean, it could have both kinetic and potential, right? The total yeah. energy. But the potential part of it doesn't imply motion. The book, before I dropped it, had potential energy. But it's not moving other than my hands shaking a little bit. So it's total energy, 